he followed me the entire way. He'd stay right next to me as if he was glued to me. And then when I got out to leave, he followed me all the way to shore. I came back a couple weeks later to that same spot, hopeful that maybe I'd find him, and there he was. Then he was just all about me. It was just like the last time he followed me around, he got all close, he even let me tickle his belly a couple times. It was when he started chasing the other fish away, I was like, you know what, this seems the behavior of a jealous dog or cat. This is like an aqua puppy. It's just so interesting. I had that idea of what if I taught him a sound that I make to try to get him to locate me. <laughs> he found me at exactly two minutes. And he was the only fish that I saw that whole dive. He was caught and has made a very distinctive look on his face. It makes it really easy to identify. Instantly, I know that's him. There's no mistaking that that's all this. I was a fisherman for most of my life until I started diving. It changed everything. You don't realize how beautiful and magical this world is until you start seeing it from different perspectives. Day of the dive, usually I have a backpack with all my gear in it, get suited up. And every time I get into the water, it's like getting on a bike. It's so hard to describe, it's so hard to put into words, the feeling of swimming around with this fish and knowing that I've known him from all these previous dives and that he remembers me. He acts exactly the same every time. Every time I'm out there with him, it's like magic. I'm looking at this fish and I'm thinking, this is incredible.